Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Stellaris and the Adari Imperium. So, in the last couple of episodes it's been a bit peaceful, very quiet, we haven't done a lot. Well, we've done a lot, just not much interesting stuff I suppose. Uh, basically we were stabilised in our economy, we did end the war uh, three episodes ago. So the last two ones we've been stabilised in the economy, working out things, you know, setting up sectors, restoring our fleets to their former glory, expanding the fleets because we've got massive boost to our uh, maximum capacity now. Uh, so we're trying to fill that out and we're working our way towards uh, initially checking out the L gate. Now, I have let time run just because you didn't want... All I did literally was set up the sectors and I um, just watched and waited as for our resources to pull up now we're not quite there but something interesting happened now i don't know if you remember the skrek enlightened kingdoms they are these guys here we were thinking about ruffle stomping them not too long ago because they'll be super easy to do they're pathetically equivalent or you know military is pathetic compared to ours or something like that however Something interesting happened. So if we go back, I'll turn on the UI and show you what happened. Skrek Enlightened Kingdom completes a Colossus project. Word has reached us that the Skrek Enlightened Kingdom has developed specifications for a Colossus type hull configuration, a weapon platform potentially capable of complete planetary destruction. Now, that means they have worked out they have got basically the uh, technology option, I believe, to research the uh, initial option they went for. So we went the Planet Cracker. They may research that. See who they are. Uh, they're probably going to go with Planet Cracker. Now, they don't scare me too much. But to be honest, I've never actually faced off against another Colossus, if I'm being honest. So it could be interesting. But... They're still really, really weak. Like, I, I can't see an enemy at all, a uh, military fleet at all anywhere. So I'm happy to just leave it, and we'll just go ahead and focus on our um, Elgate stuff. So it's going to be a cut, like, a m another month or so. Two more months, and then we'll finish that. We're not going to bother upgrading, so don't worry about that. What I did was just get this so it could buy a little more time for us to um, uh, go ahead and uh, reinforce our fleets a little bit more. Now there is a little bit of a bug I have noticed where this one wasn't getting any of the love at all. Like we had tons of ships here saying, you know, th these are really cheap. We had like 2,000 alloys and saying you can build 5 ships or 10 ships or whatever. Spamming that, it did nothing. Um, it's because it needs to upgrade. So we've queued it to upgrade this fleet. All of them need upgrading to be honest, but for now I'm perfectly happy leaving it like that for now. Uh, but we have one, two, nearly three. In fact, this may be the third, uh, the final one that we need to fully upgrade our, um, uh, to fully upgrade the uh, ships, uh, fleets. So we have three fleets at full strength, essentially. I'll go here and we'll just decrease that by one. There we go, that's fine. Uh, this is nearly at full strength. In fact, it probably will be at full strength after all of this. So I'm happy. So we got basically three fleets at full, nearly four, potentially four now, I believe. Yeah, four fleets at full strength. I am perfectly happy as soon as that research is done to go ahead and do the L gate. Research concluded. Speak of the devil. So we could get that. There's nothing really interesting going on. Let's go with that. Take 15 months, not too long. Uh, this gateway here is also nearly going to complete as well so it's going to take a year and this will be well done and we can actually potentially even station stuff here so what i'm going to go ahead and do we already got that convert some of these into hangar bays uh just do we have any nah yeah hangar bays will be fine tell you what two hangar bays and a shipyard that'll be all right I think I'm happy to move our stuff over here, to be honest. Don't really need it. Ooh, we do. We would like that. I mean, it's only 10 uh, science, and we make more than 10, basically. So I'm kind of thinking we go with that instead. Especially because there's a gate, so we can jump there on top of enemies. <clears throat> so 
that'd be fine. So what I'm going to do, as soon as this completes, is order all of our fleets to go here. I don't know if we get to choose which gate activates. I would like to think we do. In which case I'll activate this one, but I assume all of them will activate to be honest, but we'll see. Now, how long is it? It's like a few more days. Like another month. Alright. But yeah, so it's going to be interesting. We are going to activate the L-Gate. I'm going to investigate what's on the other side of the L-Gate. Now, when this whole... Uh, ooh, we got the uh, we got the uh, Gaia world now. So let's go here, do that. What does this look like? Oh, marvelous! That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, go here. Mm -hmm, sure. Excellent. All right. Uh, we'll also just set you up. This is all I did. I just basically set it up to be balanced, unless it is plain as day obvious they had a specialty. Like here, they got. You know, a decent amount of science, maybe we go science, but I'm just going to put it balanced. Be alright. And we do send them a bit of materials every now and then. I'll send that, push that up to, say, 50. Excellent, so this is done. So we can jump here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump that there. Oh, we're also going to turn that off. We'll jump that there. Yep. Um, right, yeah, you were waiting for your titan to arrive. So we have like four titans now. Two titans, technically, but hey. Uh, I also built another starbase here just because we have ridiculous amounts of piracy. Yeah. I don't know how to resolve that because this is just ludicrous if I'm honest. Um, but we'll just put like tons of hanging modules. I have no idea how it got that bad. Like, what what determines the maximum piracy? It, oh, is it the amount of trade going through here? I wonder. Construction project complete. Because we also have it here, so maybe we put star bases there as well. Which guarantees that up to is protected from piracy. 800 is protected, so we could build another star base here. It hasn't really affected us in the slightest, if I'm honest. We'll go ahead and do that just to prevent as much piracy as we can because it is a bit annoying and it does severely limit how much um, money we're making from it. So I think it, even though it's going to increase this a bit by probably another 25%, I think. We'll make more money from stopping all this piracy and protecting more trade. I think that'll be fine. Um, so where is everybody going? You're going there. You're, uh, we could also do another gateway over here. Just join them up. So we have one there, have one there, and then have one here. That will be fine. But for now, I just want to continue focusing on getting a lot more ships. So we only have another 28, which is, and to be honest, it's probably all this fleet. And it's probably really expensive. Yeah, this is probably the big one. And then the rest are just Corvettes and Destroyers. But that's fine. So this is going to finish, then it's going to upgrade the fleet for us, which is exactly what we want. Could consider getting another battleship. Titan Cruiser can go. There we go, 15 destroys. That's fine. Boom. Don't know what we're building. Alright, so how long? Who made peace? Oh, so they made peace. They are. It looks like it was a white piece. Rebels. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, they're going to die. Oh, yeah. So, where? Well, I'm confused. Don't know. 
But yeah, they, they took a lot of territory, right? And they certainly did a number. Like It's like a huge wedge has been put down. In fact, this side of there, that uh, federation cannot reach that side now. At all. Construction project concluded. Yeah, because if you think about it, if we're a Thrall, these guys are our overlords. These guys are our overlords. They don't let us in it. Like, they have, to a point... Oh, man. That's just annoying. Uh, they have, to a point, split our empire. Thankfully, we have a bunch of uh, jump gates all over the place. So it's not affected us too much. However, oh, who insulted me? Screw you. Um, but that definitely means that these guys ain't going to be able to go through. And I don't know if they have any gates. It doesn't look like they do. They have wormholes, so they might be able to get over, but I doubt that. Anyway. Research who? Oh, I got excited then. Uh, okay, what are we going to get instead? I would prefer a savage build speed, but maybe that. Let's go with that. Battleship build speed. Significantly more, and it makes them cheaper, which is double plus good for us. Three, four. Are you at full strength now? Yes, you are. Go here. And take 140 days. That's fine. Uh, cool. Something's finished. That's done. Yeah. So we don't have a lot left really to upgrade. We only have, well, 16,000. A lot of that is for the Titan, I believe. How's it, how much does it cost to build a Titan? Shipyard. Titan is oh, only 2,000. Yeah, so Colossus that's the big tasty boy, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know where the ships are going, but hey, just keep building. That'll be all right. So we got one fleet, gonna have three fleets all here. I mean if, you know, shit goes horribly wrong, we'll just send them all up to here and that'll be fine. But I'm hoping we don't have to uh, specifically activate a gate. Yeah, I think we just... I'm hoping we, we have to literally just, like, we, there's a trigger or something that says activate this gate and eventually they'll all activate, but I'm hoping that's the case. If not, we're going to have to split up. Or we could just all pile in, I suppose. Where's the, where's the science ship? Science ship? Oh, you're all the way over, you're all the way over here. How long will that take? 144 days. Of course it will. And, well, whoever gets that, well... Another option is... We have to have a Starbase shipyard here somewhere. Do we build you? Not yet. About to. How about you? Nope. You? Nope. We should probably build a few shipyards over here, uh, come to think of it. That's right. Uh, what's full? This again? Nice. Exactly what I like to hear. Ooh. Probably wasted a bit there. Um, maybe we go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Get some more, and then we'll stock power a bit there as well. That'll be right. Um, Cause yes, we got the thing going here. So on the second stage, we are building the ring world frame. Interesting. I guess it builds here and then it lowers it into place. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we're building the frame. It's going to take a li little more time. Um, however, we should be able to, it's going to cost another 10,000 alloys when it's complete. So that should be fine. Uh, who now? The some Yaks Guardians? I have no idea who those guys are. Uh, well, I guess we could have a look at the contacts while we wait. They're a Y, so let's go down here. Uh, you. Holy. Oh, these are our friends. I would love to help them. In fact, now my. Oh, right. I don't know. I really... Uh, I don't think it was strong enough. 100... They have a 200k fleet in our space. 
We could consider helping these guys out. Because they're equivalent. So if two of us go to war with the Raxacodium uh, Restorers, we could claim our space and maybe do enough damage. <sighs> Tsunami. I don't know. I think now would be a really good opportune time to go to war with the Raxacodium Restorers rather than the Elgate. However, I mean, we can always change the research and just turn it on later. Ooh, I don't know. Now is probably going to be the best time to um, defend against, uh, to rebel. However, if we lose... Is there like a ledger? Because in other uh, CK, uh, not CK, other Paradox Grand Strategies, they've got a ledger which tells you their actual strength. I don't think there is. There's a missing button here as well. Yeah. I mean, they have 200k here, and I have a feeling if we declare war, they get pushed out of our space. Also have a feeling... If we declare war, we'll go to war with these guys. Which wouldn't be really nice, to be honest. I don't know. What I'm gonna do... We'll let time run, They're, and we'll see where they jump to. They're probably going to go to our jump gate, and then jump over to here. Because they... These guys have the advantage, because of all our jump gate networks, they have full access to it. However, if we declare war on them, they no longer have access. But what I kind of want to do... Like, we have... Just merge. Construction project All right. We'll, we'll deal with this as well. Reduce you. That's fine. There we go. Okay. So that's all fine. So we're at 54k there. 70. Uh, we'll say like 150. So we're at 200 could jump this one, it is still upgrading. Just do that. Already at full strength, really? Oh, you're, you're still waiting on the... No, you don't have a Titan. You must be at full strength. Oh, we're building the Titan, right. So, we do have a significant amount of power and we could all pile into here, because... Right. These, both of these are at the gateway. Right, let's move them to the actual gateway. Construction project complete. All of our fleets are at a gateway. So it'd be really easy for us to jump into here. Can we declare war on them right now? Independence. Manage claim. Well, we could also do the, a little bit of this. No, that's way too expensive. Don't care. Uh, we can always use the Colossus. Oh, uh, shoot. Forgot about that. Well, we're definitely going down this route. All right. Our scientists are now confident that our, no our knowledge of the L gates and the technology behind them is sufficient to abort their maintenance cycle. If the attempt is, attempt is successful, the L gate in the Brune Singularity should allow immediate access to the distant L cluster. As the maintenance cycle ends, any additional L gates in the galaxy will likely also become operational within a matter of years as a self-correcting software readjusts. Still, this will give us a significant head start to explore the cluster without interference. Situation log updated. Right. Well, we can always put it off, it looks like. So we'll see. Have we got three fleets? 7, 14, 21. Yeah, we massively outnumber them. I was hoping that they were going to pile in a big 200k fleet in. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the chance and attack the Vaxicodian Restorers. 
We might start the war this episode. If they jump here. And if I'm ah, oh, I'd love to. Construction project concluded. Thing is, we are definitely gonna take a lot of damage. 80, 74, go with that one. Uh, we will take a lot of damage over here because they have a big fleet and they aren't both piling in. I mean, saying that though, 124, 141, these two fleets alone would be pretty even. And we could always send another one over. They are returning to... Oh, they're returning to that station. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I really want to go to war with them right now. Because this is a really good opportunity. Construction project concluded. Wait. That's 77k. Where'd they go? They didn't go there, that's so for sure. I don't know, we can let them go. Ah, oh, but like I said, they have the advantage, don't they? Dunno. I tell you what, like I said, I record these in groups of three. And this is the tail end of the third. So what I'm gonna do, I mean it, it would have happened already and I would have made up my decision by the time this goes live. What I'm gonna do is let you guys decide via Twitter and I'll leave it till well, as of today, it's Tuesday today. It's Wednesday tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow on Twitch. So I'm going to ask on Twitch as well what you guys think. Because it would descend... I mean, we wouldn't officially be teaming up with the Guardians. But we could certainly follow them around and do a lot of damage and then clear up any damage they do. But I think we're fairly even right now. They might be... Yeah, we're even with them. And us declaring war on them might actually trigger other rebellions as well. I wish I could... Oh, see, what I would love is... There was a DLC coming out for this. Uh, it was announced at Paradox Convention. Uh, the Federation's DLC. I really, really hope that when you're in a situation like this where they're our overlord and we're a thrall, we can have a chat with the other thraldoms and be like, yo, we're going to go to war. Will you go to war with us against them? Will you help us get our independence sort of thing? Like literally just team up, like subjects team up against the Overlord if they don't like them. Because I can guarantee you none of us like this, these guys. So that's what I would really like from the new DLC. I don't know. Where's their big fleet? Is that it? Yeah, so there's one there. Have a quick look around. I don't really... It's hard to see... Whose is whose. Because it's all blue. There's their big fleet. You... You're all going back to home base. Question is then, is it a defensive war? No, it's an offense. So they did attack them. And interestingly, they're not making the first move. Yeah. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Uh, like I said, I'll put it on Twitter, I'll ask on Twitch, and I'll put it as long as possible off so I can get as much feedback as I possibly can. Um between now and recording the next episode, because the next episode we're either going to activate the L gate and have a peek over where that is. I mean, I have no idea where it is, but that's one option. The other option is we go to war right now with the Ratsukodian Restorers and 
get our independence because I'm very confident if we do that now with these guys acting as another distraction we could probably win we'd get this back I mean I'm not super concerned about it but it would be nice we could also you know take a bunch of this territory as well which would be quite nice um but at least get rid of that and then maybe take these two that'd be really nice actually do have to remember they do have a colossus weapon somewhere scary question or well, part of that is the somewhere i have no idea where it is so we'll have to keep an eye out for that and if we ever see it we'll have to focus it i mean we have plenty of planets so maybe it won't be a bad idea to let them uh, you know take care of our problem for us but i don't know we'll see we'll probably just focus it get rid of it because it could also do damage to that anyway thank you guys so much for watching like i said i'm gonna get as much feedback on what to do next as possible and we will definitely either go to war or open the L gate. I'm really torn because I want to know what's in the L gate, but I feel like going to war would be the uh, smartest decision right now. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Or by the time this goes live, we would have already decided. So, I mean, by all means, let me know in the comments. I won't spoil it for you guys, but I'll definitely reply and have a chat. By all means, discussing the idea. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like on the video, and if you like the series, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the support you guys can give me, and I read all your comments, and I try to reply to them as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, so until next time, or in next time, it's going to be in the next video, it's going to be really interesting, see what happens, see what we decide. And either way, it's going to probably be a really interesting next few episodes, whether it's the war or Elgate. Blame me know. Let me know what you think is best, or at least most interesting, and I'll go with that. Otherwise, I'll toss a coin and or try and figure it out myself. Anyway, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.